Hey everyone, in this video we are going to understand how to compute the ROC AUC score. Yes, ROC AUC score for multi class classification task. That's true, guys. I think before the release of 0.22 version of SKLearn, the ROC AUC score was not available for us to compute for multi class classification. But with the latest release, that is, with the latest update of SKLearn, we now have the ability to compute the ROC AUC score for multi class classification. So, how can I compute the ROC AUC score of this multi class classification? Well, to get better understanding, let's open the documentation of this SKLearn. So, I have opened my documentation of SKLearn library. Here, I have, I have the functionality that is sklearn.matrix.roc AUC score. So, this is how the parameters which are expected by ROC AUC score. It takes y true, y score, and average is micro, sample weight is none. So the another parameter which I'm very interested in is multi-class. By default, multi-class is set to raise. Okay, so I'm interested in finding the ROC AC score multi for multi-class, isn't it? But by default, it is seeing as or it is showing as raise. So what does it mean? So let's come down. By default, multi-class is not supported. If you are if you are trying to compute the ROC AUC score for a multi-class, then we have to explicitly say it as whether it should be OBR or OBO. That means one versus rest or one versus one. Okay. So this is how I can find the ROC AUC score of multi-class classification. And another important point here is that. For y true, we know this is the true labels that I have to send. So for this y score, I have to send the predictive probabilities. So you'll understand more as I implement this in my program. Okay. So to begin with, I'll start by importing it. So if you are not sure as which version that it is installed in your system, what you can do is like you can just install or you can just up update your SKLearn. So I'm using the Google Colab instance, so I'll just up update mine so this will take some time so the command which i'm using is pip install hyphen u scikit learn okay so this will update the sklearn version which has been installed in my system okay currently it is uninstalling the 0.22 post one and it has installed 0.23.1 that's great guys so we now have the updated version of the sklearn so let's confirm the version. So to do that, I have written as import sklearn and then sklearn dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore. Okay, I'll execute this. Okay, the version which is available to me is 0.23.1. That means it's a latest version. Now I'm saying this again, guys. If you want to compute the multi-class classification ROC AC score, then at least you should have the sklearn version of 0.22. Okay, cool. So to begin with, I'll start by loading the data set. For the sake of example, I'll take the iris data set. So I'll write as from sklearn dot data sets import load iris. So this will load the iris data set and I'll also load other important libraries. So I'll write as sklearn dot model selection. I'll import train test split and from sklearn dot metrics i'll import roc AUC score yeah and i'll use the decision tree so i'll write as from sklearn dot tree import decision tree classifier okay so i'm importing the necessary libraries to begin with i'll load my data set i'll write as iris is equal to load iris so this will load the data set and i'll separate x and y as id x is equal to iris dot data y is equal to iris dot target so i have separated the the input data and the target i'll then perform the split so i'll write as x train comma x test y train comma y test is equal to train test split of x comma y comma a random underscore state is equal to 42. So I'm just splitting my entire training set into two parts that is training set and the test set. Cool. So I'll just execute this. Okay. Then I'll instantiate my model. So I'll call as tree is equal to 
this is entry classifier so i'll set the max depth is equal to let's say 3 and i'll also mention my random state as 42 okay so i'll execute this so i have instantiated my model then what is it then performing the fit so to perform the fit i can write as tree dot fit extreme comma y train okay so this will perform the fit on my training data then i'll find the value of the or i can say it as i'll print the value of output so y pred is equal to tree dot predict x x test yeah okay i'm trying to predict the values for my x test if i now execute this okay my y pred has the values which look something like this it has the label okay now let's try to find the roc ac score so to find the roc ac score i'll write as roc auc score and inside the parenthesis i'll have to pass the y true and y score so for y true i'll send as y test and for y score that is a predicted value i'll send as y pred if i simply execute this see it says value error multi-class must be either OVO or OVR. So this is what it means when it says as multi-class is equal to raise. By default, it doesn't support the multi-class computation. So I have to explicitly say as whether it should be OVO or OVR that is one versus rest or one versus one. So I have to specify it explicitly. So this time I'll just copy this and paste it over here and I'll mention as multi class is equal to let's say OVR okay I'll execute this okay I now have an error the error says axis 1 is out of bounds for array of dimension 1 now what does it mean or why am I getting this error see if I come back to the documentation so if you observe what are, what is the value that I'm sending over here I'm sending the value as y test and I'm sending the y pred. So this contains the predicted classes of the output. But if I check my documentation, my second parameter that is y score, what it receives is like, it receives the predicted probabilities. So if you read it over here, see it says y score is nothing but the target score. In the multi-class case, these must be probability estimates which sum to one. This is important guys. If I am using the multi-class classification case, then in case of Y score, I have to send the probability estimates instead of probability labels. Okay, so that is the reason I was getting the error when I try to compute the ROC AC score with predicted labels. So how can I get the probability estimates from the decision tree model? Simple, I can make use of predict probability function. So I'll write something like this, Y pred probia is equal to tree dot predict probia and i'll send my x test so this will compute the probability estimates if i now print my predict probia see this has generated the predictive estimates okay with these values i can now compute the roc auc score so roc AUC score y test comma y pred probia and then I'll also have to specify multi-class. It could be either OVO or OVR. So I'll write as OVR. And if I now execute this, I now have the value of ROCAC score. In this case, it is one. So two things you have to remember guys. First is you have to specify what is the multi-class. So it should be either OVO or OVR. And the second important thing you have to send the probability estimates while computing the ROC AUC score. So these two are very important concepts that you have to keep in mind when you're computing the ROC AUC score. And apart from this, you should make sure that the SKLearn version, which is running in your system, it is at least, it is 0.22 or more. If you try to run the same code, which is in previous version, let's say 0.21. So this is what happens. So in my local system, I have a SKLN function, SKLN version as 0.21. And if I execute the same code, so I get the error which says multi-class format is not supported. So this multi-class is being supported only from the version 0.22 and above. 
if you face any issues or if you need more clarification please let me know in the comment section and i'll get back to you for more help or if you have any suggestions or any video requests that you need just send us an email to instructor at the rate manifold ai learning dot in instructor at the rate manifold ai learning dot in okay and do check the description for the source code so i look forward to see you in the next video thank you so much guys